This is K.M. Wyland, and you're listening to the 177th episode of the Wordplay Podcast. What a week. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for helping to make Dreamlanders launch a success. As I record this podcast, the book is holding steady within the top three in its niche in the Kindle store. It's been a wild ride, particularly during this last year, and I'm so happy to finally be able to share my latest baby with readers. In other news, I am now a quarter of the way through my rewrite of The Deepest Breath. Most of the significant changes I wanted to make were in that first quarter, so I'm hoping I'll be moving a little faster from here on. And I'm still reading away about biplanes and barnstormers as I research my historical fantasy storming. Nothing better than curling up with a book as the cold winter night creeps on. What's the difference between conflict and tension? The latest post in the video series on my blog answers one of your questions about the finer points of distinction between these two important story catalysts. To watch it, visit my website at helpingwritersbecomeauthors.com. New videos are posted every Wednesday. And now, I hope you enjoyed this week's podcast, the first in the series, Structuring Your Story's Scenes. This installment is titled, Mastering the Two Different Types of Scene. Trick question for you. What's one of the most overlooked pieces of the story puzzle? Okay, so it's not really a trick. It's a legitimate question with a legitimate, if somewhat surprising, answer. And that answer is the scene. Yep, you heard right. The scene, that most integral, most obvious, most universal part of any story, is also the most overlooked and least understood when it comes to the craft of storytelling. How do you explain the scene? Everyone has a different answer. One, a scene is a unit of action. That's great, but what makes it a unit? Two, a scene is a unit of action that takes place in one setting. Well, that's often true, but there are definite exceptions. Three, a scene is a unit of action that features a specific cast of characters. When that cast changes, for example, when a character enters or leaves the scene, the scene ends. But some scenes begin and end upon the entrance of characters. Others truck right along with a revolving door of supporting characters. Before we go any further, I'd like you to take a moment and consider your definition of the scene. And I'm going to bet it's harder to quantify than you may think, isn't it? The problem with most definitions of scene is that they're, shall we say, vague. And by their very vagueness, they're not of much help to authors who want to understand this fundamental building block of the story. Over the next 12 Sundays, I'd like to share with you a series about the nitty-gritty of scenes. We're going to explore some concrete facts. We're going to learn the basic structure of scenes, variations upon that structure, and how to use an understanding of the scene to pack them one upon another until we have a story that's rock solid from beginning to end. To begin with, let me note that we're going to be focusing on two different types of scenes. Scene featuring action and sequel featuring reaction. In my opinion, these are absolutely ridiculous titles that don't help at all with the misunderstandings surrounding the issue. However, since these are the commonly held terms for the story components we're going to be talking about, I've decided to maintain them. As the series progresses, I'll be breaking down scenes and sequels into smaller pieces so we can analyze what makes them tick. But for now, let's take a look at the big picture. What is a scene? The scene is where we find the conflict. This is the action part of the action-reaction dynamic duo. Big stuff happens in scenes. Plot points change the course of the story. Characters act in ways that affect everything that happens afterward. These are the scenes that will loom large in your stories. What is a sequel? The sequel is a much quieter but just as important factor in your story. Within the sequel, we find the characters reacting. Usually there's not too much outright conflict, but there's plenty of tension. These are the sections in which characters and readers alike are allowed to catch their breath after the wild and gripping events in the previous scenes. Reactions will be processed 
and decisions will be made so characters can jump right back into the next scene. As we dive deeper into the exciting world of the scene, we'll talk about how to structure the arc of each scene, how to link all scenes and sequels so they all behave like proper little dominoes, how to use scene knowledge to spot plot problems, and we'll even dig down briefly into the microscopic level of paragraph and sentence structure within the scene. It's going to be fun, so hang around. Thank you for listening to the Wordplay Podcast. To read a transcript of this episode, you can visit my website at helpingwritersbecomeauthors.com. And be sure to check back again next week.